Good morning guys, Ryan checking in here from beautiful Botswana. Just wanted to hopefully give you guys some encouragement as we come into Easter weekend. This will be the first time for us not being allowed to actually attend church on Easter because of the new lockdown regulations. There's gatherings no more than two people for the next six months. So that means all of the schools all the churches are now shut down unless they ended early for the next six months, which is definitely ominous and unprecedented probably for pretty much everybody here in the world. Obviously, we're going through this pandemic together, and this is all a new situation for all of us. So stress is high, anxiety is high, restlessness is high as we're all trapped in our houses for anywhere from a few weeks to a few months to us what looks like to be for the next six months so just wanted to try and give you guys some encouragement here since it is easter weekend yesterday was actually good friday so that's the day that we believe that jesus actually died for our sins that he was crucified on the Friday before Easter about 2,000 years ago. So today's actually Saturday. And tomorrow is Resurrection Sunday. So just wanted to give you guys a little bit of teaching on that. So I've been reading through the book of John lately. And Jesus, the whole time, was telling his disciples that he's going to be killed. And they didn't understand it. And just some of the stuff that sticks out to me... It says in John chapter 12 that Jesus says that his soul was even troubled. And he kind of states back to his disciples. And he says, what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this purpose, I've come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Jesus came knowing that he was going to be killed. He knew what had to be done. It was, it sounds like terrifying for him. Multiple times it said that he was sweating like drops of blood in the garden before they came and arrested him. So, definitely a big deal. But why did Jesus come to die? The Bible teaches that we are separated from God, that God made us humans. In his likeness but Adam and Eve sinned and with that we all sinned we're all born into slavery we're all born into sin and at that point we're separated from God God is perfect and just but we've fallen short and there's no way for us to make ourselves right to God. So God himself had to come in form of his son. God with us, Emmanuel, that's what we talk about Christmas. Jesus, the name means God with us. So us being separated, Jesus came. He lived the life that we were unable to live he came he lived the perfect life and he died innocent but at the same time he took on all of our sins he became the substitutionary sacrifice for us he stood in our place we were deserving of wrath so Jesus stepped in our place he died the death that we deserve and rightly so we've sinned against the holy god but here jesus comes out of his great love he steps in our place and he takes the wrath of god for us I mean, that's a huge thing. Something us, that the punishment would be eternity. 
separation from God, and Jesus came as a worthy sacrifice, and he took the punishment for us. But he didn't stay dead. God, on the third day, Easter Sunday, rolled away the stone, and Jesus was resurrected. He had defeated death. He had defeated sin. And he was resurrected on that Easter Sunday. It's just a huge deal. And at that point, he was lifted up. John 12 says, and when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all people to myself. And that's what he did. And so we believe as Christians, Jesus died for us in our place, resurrected. And the Bible says multiple, multiple times that if we place our trust in him, believe in him, who he says he is, that we believe he's forgiven for us of our sins, that we can be in right standing with God. John, 1 John 1, 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So since Jesus took our place, we confess our sins to him. He is faithful and he will forgive us our sins and he will purify us of all unrighteousness. Once again, that brings us into right standing with God. It also says in Romans that when we were powerless, we had no way of saving ourselves. Christ died for the ungodly. God demonstrates his own love for us. While we were still sinners, we were enemies of God. Christ died for us. He came in love and with a purpose and on mission to die for us. We were at enemies with God and Christ died for us and we were justified by his blood they call this reconciliation that we were in wrong standing with God but through Christ and what he did we can be made right to God that we were powerless you know God knew that we couldn't save ourselves and he came, and he made us a way to be made right to him. So just want to say this is, you know, a big weekend for us Christians. And just wanted to share a little bit of that with you guys. Here we are in Botswana. Even though we're locked on our property from this virus and the lockdown, wanted to find a way to still do a little bit of ministry and show you guys kind of why we're here. You know, we're here, a lot of people in Botswana, you know, sadly, still a lot of witchcraft here, just a lot of sorrow here, and just want to try to bring some hope here to Botswana. So just wanted to share you guys, share with you guys a little bit of that. Hopefully you all have a good Easter, hopefully if you can't be with family, Maybe through a video call or something, you guys can still be with family. So, wanted to check in and just say thanks again for supporting us. And hopefully, we'll check in here in the next week or so. You guys have a great resurrection weekend. God bless.